Everybody wrestle. You wrestle. All right, so, dude, you ain't supposed to be here. You got messed up too. All right, so like, if I got, if I snap him and I get kind of a front headlock, so like, I've got a chin strap, meaning I'm just holding his chin and my shoulder's on his neck here, but I've got this. So what I'm doing is I'm controlling this. When you're doing this, you don't want your feet real close because he'll just run through you. So I'm here, my hips are back, my, my hips are forward, my head's up. I'm scooting my weight across. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle, drop to this knee, and reach across to his opposite hip. Take him over, okay? Now, once I get here, I'm hugging his back. I want his back flat on the mat. So I'm gonna keep this chin strap grip. I'm hugging his back. His back is flat, his head's up. And this is just like a chest compression. I drop this hip, this is here. Look, I roll my shoulder and I hold this. It's not necessarily a choke. All I'm doing is, it's the equivalent of, if I took something and pushed on his chest and held his head up and did that for like five or six seconds, he'd eventually tap to that. That's all you're really doing. And you're not doing this. This is where people mess this move up. People think you're doing this. I'm not doing that because this, this feels fine to him. You know what I mean? And it's not a choke per se. It's just his back's flat and I'm holding that. It's a chest compression, okay? It doesn't feel good on his neck. So let's start that. To start up, your partner's gonna give you his head. Yeah, I'm here. You're not here because you're gonna get run through. You're gonna, look, I'm reaching across to his hip as a circle out. Keep him on his back. Don't hold, rip his head off. Just do it slow. I'm holding hip down, leg up, roll my shoulder, hold. All right, let's work. One, two, three. 